Trump uses U.S. government over FBI search of Mar-a-Lago. Donald Trump on Monday filed suits against the U.S. government over the FBI search of his Mar-a-Lago home, seeking to temporarily stop the bureau reading seized materials until a special court officials can be appointed to review documents concerned. As the Guardian reported on Saturday, citing Trump's leading attorney Jim Trustee. And two sources familiar with the matter, the suits argue that the court should appoint a special master, usually a retired lawyer or judge, because the FBI potentially seized privileged materials in its search, and the Departments of Justice should not itself decide what it can use in its investigation. The suits filed in U.S. District Court for the Southern District of Florida. Also, require the government to provide a more detailed receipt for property, and require the government to return any item seized that was not within the scope of the search warrant. The Mar-a-Lago search on 8 of August was mounted to look for official records and materials from Trump's presidencies that the National Archives and DOJ believe that improperly taken from the White House when Trump left office. It has been reported that the search was carried out under a Sponge Act, and that some material sought to concern the clear weapon. The search has generally been held to have added significantly to Trump's legal jail party, which stretched from investigation of his business affairs in New York to investigation of his attempts to overturn election results. Trump refused to admit defeated by Joe Biden in 2020. Claiming widespread electoral fraud, a lie that struck his intimate of the deadly attack on the U.S. Capitol by supporters on 6 of January 2021. Despite a series of public hearings held by a House committee investigating the attack on Congress and Trump's election supervision, Trump's grip on the Republican Party remained strong. The former president seized on the FBI search at Mar-a-Lago. Became mistreatment by the Biden administration, a stand backed by Republicans in Congress and the party's electoral base. The suit filed on Monday called the search a shockingly aggressive move, with no understanding of distress that it would cost most Americans. It laid out a partial view on how the search unfold and alleged unfair action by the DOJ. Earlier Monday, a federal judge considering an attempt by media organization to unseal the warrant used to justify the search said he had not yet decided if the release of a DRAC version would serve any useful purpose. The judge Bruce Reinhardt wrote, "I cannot say at this point that partial redaction will be so intensive that they will result in a meaningless disclosure." But I may ultimately reach that conclusion after hearing further from the government. The DOJ opposed release of the warrant, citing an ongoing investigation. Politics cannot be allowed to impact the administration of justice, it said. President Donald Trump is a clear front runner of the 2024 Republican presidential primary, and in the 2024 general election, should he decide to run. Beyond that. His endorsement of the 2022 midterm election has been decisive for Republican candidates. The suits also say law enforcement is a shield that protects America. It cannot use as a weapon for political purpose. That's it for today. Thank you and goodbye.